<clears throat> okay, so we've got one more raw to go in this year, and this one, predominantly dealing with the fall from TLC, was actually probably one of the better raws we've had in quite some time. With the opening promo where it was CM Punk talking about the the new champion, essentially the, the new face of change that has taken over the E. It was actually a really solid promo. And then to have, you know, the, the, the heels come out. <clears throat> but I'll be honest, when Ryder hopped over that top rope in the, the opening salvo, and he landed on Ziggler, I really thought he had injured Ziggler somehow. That, of course, led to the, the six-man tag main event, which, for the way they had the I'll just call them change. Should go up, you know. You had you know, CM Punk coming through the coming through the crowd. Daniel Bryan coming through the crowd. When I first saw Zack Ryder, and I saw the camera up above his head, my first thought since they were in Philadelphia, I had like a Sandman flashback for a moment. So I saw was you know like this silver thing in his hand above above the crowd, like what Sandman used to do when he walked through the ECW crowd because he didn't want them to take his beer. It was really good. That's like some really solid six man. You know, for for this raw, you know, he had really good promo work. You know, even the promo with uh, with Cody Rhodes and Santino was fantastic. Oh. We we watch it on a, on DVR at a, a buddy's house, and <clears throat> I watched that promo habit. I had to record it. Had to wait for him to come in. He watched it. He had to go back and watch it again because as soon as the snake comes out, the cobra comes out. If you look, Cody breaks character because he just there's just big grin. He looks to the side, and then as you watch Cody for the, pro, the rest of the promo, he's he's closing his eyes and he's trying really hard to not bust up laughing. And then their match, you know, was short to the point, and as always, you know, you, you kind of understand that you're going to see just he's going to get annihilated. Cause that's just kind of what. You know, Santino Morella does. The attack of Kane on John Cena again just seemed kind of weird. But the promo that he cut was pretty solid. The one that Mark Henry cut was also pretty solid. Um, uh, Big Show talking with Josh Matthews was really good. Bring up that he hadn't held the, the World Heavyweight Championship in nine years and he held it for 45 seconds. You know, on top to bottom, a pretty solid Raw. You know, good good recaps of what happened the week before, what happened at TLC, what happened in the in the previous weeks. You know, all in all, pretty good, with the exception of the Alicia Fox Beth Phoenix match and the ensuing Alicia Fox talking on the microphone and the section with the Bellas. Yeah, you know, the fact that the, for the match with Alicia Fox and Beth Phoenix, Beth Phoenix had to essentially sell a botch by Alicia Fox and then get pinned. You know, the, the match with with Epico and Primo. Yes, the the Colognes taking on the Usos. I guess the Usos are a face now. All in all, you know, pretty pretty decent tag match. I thought the Usos promo was a little bit on the longer side, you know, for them to come down to the ring to then lose. I thought the backstabber was kind of, wasn't hit as, as clean as I would prefer. As well as the match between Orton and Barrett continued their storyline. So all in all, I'll be honest, I'm actually kind of uplifted with the way this Raw went. I didn't think it would happen for quite some time. So, thank you, Agents of Change.